Sunglasses for the bright lights. You gotta make sure that the studio is well lit and well hell. I got a big fat zit on my face, so I didn't think you needed to see that, but you know, just kinda there. There we go. Stare at it like that. <laughs> uh, what's on the bench? That is Project Overkill, everybody. Uh, you will see right here, there's something new. Wanna have a look at this? Check it out. Those, if it focuses, are wheel chains. I didn't even put all the pieces on there yet. Check it out. Turn it around. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, uh. Here's a good one. It's a nice shot right there. You can see how the chains, you know, you space them out when they move around. Hey, I like that. Snow for us in Canada. Which means I'm going into a long season of ice. And last year, I had, uh, let's see, here, I can even show you. I have one of them on the bench with me. Kapow, look at this. This is a 2.2 sized uh, Proline Masher tire. As far as I understand, these were discontinued, which means you have a hard time getting them now. But if you look online, you can easily find them uh, at different hobby stores. 2.2 Masher tires. Okay, These sucked. <laughs> They're great in the summer. Terrible in the snow because they get rock hard, which is to be expected of any tire, really. Uh, but when this gets rock hard, you might want to put some chains on it. <laughs> so, you need traction in the snow, you need traction in the ice. I figured I put it up on my Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash RC Adventures, straightforward. Uh, I don't take RC questions there, by the way ironically, but I did put it up there that I was doing um, uh, snow chains. Put up a, a picture and people are like, you got to show us a tutorial. And I thought, okay, no problem. Look at what I have on the table here. Let's have a little bit of a look. I went and I uh, went to Lowe's, okay? You can go to Home Depot, you can go to these different places. These uh, quarter inch chain, I think. Two colors. This is a little bit smaller. This is a little bit bigger, that's what she said. And here is the third style of chain. I actually didn't use this. This is what I showed at Ted's Garage very recently. This is a smaller, more scale looking chain. Guys, if you want to get that, I absolutely encourage that. Um, but for me, since I am using 1.9 tires, I want a beefier chain. Especially out in the uh, Canada wilderness that we have here, because that snow is deep. Uh, I am going to be a little bit different. I wanted to do a two-tone chain. Uh, people said, oh, you could do it all in silver. Yeah, I could. Uh, I did it in black and silver. So push these around like this. And uh, this is a very good start. Okay, I like this idea. Uh, I could get into doing studs. I did a tire. It's around here somewhere. Uh, here it is. With all the studs already. Just like they said on Facebook, it's like a medieval torture chamber. But I do not uh, encourage this for the younger folks out there or on a fast moving tire because you don't want any of these screws to fly out of there at wicked uh, uh, speed. So disclaimer, if you do this, be prepared, you're going to hurt somebody uh, and at your own risk. You know, This is something I did that is pretty badass. It almost looks a little bit Hellraiser-ish. Um, but uh, this is for me when I'm out on the snow, the ice and all that uh, and really all this is is drywall screws um, that have been dremeled off so it took the point off but they're still very sharp so that is not going to slip so I'll get back to this I'm not covering that today in fact I already did the tutorial on that last night even though I didn't post it and I just happened to film it when I was doing that experimenting so I thought eh, throw the camera on sometimes that's the best way when you're filming uh, long story short, let's uh, get the camera up on the tripod. Let's uh, start looking at how to make these tire chains. Here, I'll show you one more thing. Tire chains. Okay, so we'll just take off this inner chain that I made to hold the chains together. This is actually pretty important for you guys to see because this is how it's all going to fit together anyway. Come on, one hand. Hmm, look at this. It's a length of chain. That's four links long. Here, shadow in the way. I'm going to try and show you this a little bit different. Uh, it's four links. You can see that. There we go. Okay. Two open-ended hooks, two links in the middle. 
Real simple. That is the width of my 1.9 tire. Okay, hook to hook. So there is your first idea on how to make it. Look at this. Look down at the bottom. All the links are hooked together except for this one and one on the other side. There is a reason. Check this out. Uh, one. On the inside I got another. Uh, I don't see it. Yes I do. Right there. Okay, I need two hands for this. There's so many. That's what she said's in there today. Mm, need two hands for this. Okay, now this is simple. Now the chains have been unhooked just like in a real vehicle. Okay, and you can start to peel them off. Everyone is everyone who hasn't seen this before is actually quite impressed right now. Look at that beauty. Hallelujah. Okay. Yay. Mm, just hooks together, drapes over the tire real easy. Like that, hooks them together. So, let's take these off. Let's actually have a look at these straightforward. Bum, 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 bum. Now there's multiple styles of chains, you guys. Uh, you can Google snow tire chains or snow chains and you'll see there's multiple styles. But because I'm trying to show the masses a safe way to do this style of chain, uh, I'm going to keep it real simple. Two links on either side, huh? and then 12 of these inside links. 12. Now, again, for a 1.9 tire, you will have to do different configurations for a 2.2 size tire, but the idea is generally the same. Look at this, I already have the chains pre-cut here for you. Oh, I don't have my measuring tape on me so I'm gonna have to say what 12 inches not quite yeah maybe 10 inches mm -hmm. to the same size this is how you do it real straightforward to the same size <laughs> all the fans are laughing right now <laughs> and look at this link link so I've already prepared, I've taken the length of chain, I ended up getting 16 feet, which is way more than what you need, but because I have a ridiculous number of trucks that I'm going to be running this year, I want to make sure to have appropriate size 2.2 and 1.9 tires. Plus, I also have the dually, even though this is a single tire on the back. On this side, I have the dual tires. So what do I have to do for there? Well, this is going to be really straightforward as well. Let's forget this one for a second. Let's say we're doing a dually chain. Well, you guys can probably see how easy this is going to be already. Well, e easy once you figure out how to do it. Okay. Again, here's those links. Pre-opened. Uh, pre I'm just going to link those together. So I'm not going to double up on the chain on the inside because it's going to create uh, too much in between, too much space in between the two tires. Hey, someone's got a dirty tire <laughs> so that's all cleaned out and now I'm gonna have a uh, double sided okay so you can see how these would easily change into duly sized um, uh, tire chains so there we go these ones these rims you'll notice are a little bit different because I actually have weights inside these tires so it's actually watch the shock extension it's actually very heavy when I pick it up that's got a way the whole thing with the batteries and everything on it, I'm going to estimate that's 10 pounds um, or slightly more because even when we put these chains on, it's going to get much heavier all the way around. So it's going to give me plenty of traction when I'm in the snow and when I'm in the ice, that's when I'm going to use those studded uh, tires. Only on my scale truck though, I wouldn't want them on anything that had any real wheel speed to it. So okay, boom, 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 done. There would be your... Uh, straightforward tire chains. How do you like this? All just one continuous shot. Big zit, glasses, backwards hat, one continuous shot on how to make snow chains. There's going to be other folks that can do this. Maybe there's even other videos on how to do this. I haven't seen any, um, but uh, piece of cake guys. Now you got the general idea of how to make a snow chain, okay? If you guys want, ask your questions below. If you have snow chains already, post it as a video response. And I'll as always, uh, if you get a chance and you're not, make sure to be subscribed. And uh, if you like the video, heck, why not? Click the like button. 
See you guys next time.